Okay, so estimation is something we can now do using the skills of rounding that we have learned. Okay, so um, if you had something like uh, 2.9 times 312, then obviously we would be able to do this by hand now, okay? So if we did it by hand, then, well, I'll do it quickly on a calculator and just show, because we could do it by hand, but on a calculator, 2.9 times 312 is 904.8. Now, obviously, we could theoretically make a mistake in uh, our multiplication, okay? Um, something could go wrong. Maybe not so much, not so likely on a calculator, but by hand, something could potentially go wrong. You could multiply something incorrectly or forget a zero, and it could change the answer completely. So the idea here is that if I was going to do 2.9 times 312, could I get a reasonable estimate of what my answer should probably look like by just rounding those numbers, uh, these numbers, and then doing a simpler calculation? One that preferably I could do in my head. So this is the idea of estimation. So if you were going to estimate this calculation, what we can do is round each of the numbers to one significant figure. And that's really the method that we are going to use. So to estimate this, I would round each one to one significant figure. So rounding 2.9 to one significant figure, that's my first significant figure column. The next one would tells me to round it up, so I would round 2.9 to 3. And 312, that's the first significant figure column, the one to the right it tells me to round down, so I'm going to round that to 300. So, what I can say is that 2.9 times 312 is approximately equal to 3 times 300. Now, 3 lots of 300 I can do in my head. That's 900. And you can see that my answer of my estimate is close to the actual physical answer. And this is the whole idea. And it is a case of making sure you can round uh, numbers to one significant figure, and which will allow you to estimate uh, quite complicated calculations. Okay. Now, a word of warning with this, if it tells you specifically estimate 2.9 times 312, if you then gave the answer 904.8, your answer would be wrong. Okay, so it is, there is a very specific way of doing this problem, and in the next video I will go through more examples to show you how this can be accomplished.